Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios. For their highest and greatest good. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios, please. I don't know if you can hear there's some snoring in the background. That's my little min pin. Okay. Um, five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Your person viewing you as the world in reverse. Sorry, it's making me laugh because uh, she's so tiny, but she's snoring like a grown man. All right, hanged man, Pisces energy. Um, what you're not seeing is the judgment card. And we also have the nine of swords. Okay, so I feel, Scorpio, you definitely have someone with fixed energy in their chart, possibly another Scorpio, but it could be Taurus, Leo, or Aquarius. With the judgment card showing up here, they're definitely going to call you. They're definitely going to reach out. They definitely want a second chance here. They definitely feel there's unfinished business. They want to come out of the cold. But I have a feeling they're really freaking out because you're not taking action right now. All right. And we see the emperor energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. This person may see you as their person, their divine masculine or their divine feminine. Um, the five of pentacles showing up in reverse tells me they've been holding back, but I feel like they're in this nine of swords energy. Now, of course, this could be your energy, depending on what's happened here between the two of you. Um, but the five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person does. There's a lot of energy of holding back, but wanting to heal this connection. Wow. Three cards there of holding back. You could be dealing with a Leo or maybe you have Leo in your chart. Um, but the strength card, this person definitely is building up strength and courage to come towards you, to call you, to reach out. Um, they want to up level this connection. They want to close the gap here, Scorpio. So, it, you know, this could be a secret admirer, or it could really be someone who, you know, you're on the outs with, or you've been dealing with. Let's see. The world card in reverse tells me there's distance here between you. Yeah, this person's definitely anxious. They're in their head about you and the King of Cups. And I do feel they're kind of emotionally messy behind the scenes. And that might be a surprise to you um, because it does feel like this person, they have a lot of love to offer and they probably, it's like, you don't know how they feel about you. Um, if this person is, is a creative, they may be having some blocks here to their creativity. Hanged man, Pisces energy tells me um, yeah, this person, they see you as this, they see you also as very creative. Um, they see you as, um, holding back though, but they see you as compassionate, selfless, really loving energy, very wise. They love that you're spiritual. Okay. And the two of swords. Yeah. They're, you, you don't hold back Scorpio normally. And so I think that's why they're feeling a little bit confused about you being in this energy of stasis when it comes to them or it comes to this connection. Cause it's like, you're not the type to really hold back. Um, you may have also, you know, really spoken a truth to them, whether it was a harsh truth or not. Um, and justice card. Yeah. See, they, they feel like you're aloof. You're detached, um, possibly dealing with somebody else. They might be worried that you have other options. Um, this justice card. Yeah, there, I think they're also like, there's a lot of Libra and energy coming through. So they definitely, they see you as somebody who's very charming and romantic. You're quite diplomatic, but there's something here that's shifted. Like they're, it's not that they're not seeing you that way, but it's like you normally are. And so I don't know if they did or said something that made you, made them feel like your energy shifted towards them, or they're just kind of stressing because they have these really strong feelings and they don't know if you feel the same way. So what you're not seeing is the judgment card. This is them making a decision to come forward. Yeah, they're definitely so wish-washy, Scorpio. And yeah, the four of swords, this person's definitely been, they don't want to sleep on this, but they, you know, and with the judgment card, they, they are going to make this decision, but your person is definitely holding back wish-washy. I just feel they're, you know, they could have a strong ego, but I just feel they fear rejection. Nine of swords, this is an energy of I can't eat, I can't sleep. I feel this is more their energy than yours. And the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there, there might be an ex that's been causing some problems or unhealed baggage, you know, from previous relationships that needs to be released. 
but it, you know, I, f I think this is going to be, this is a connection that can move forward, Scorpio. I do think that that's what you're not seeing is that they have been holding back. They've been nervous, but they are going to make a decision to come towards you. Ooh, I love the queen of pentacles because she's, you know, she's strategic. She's someone who takes good care of herself, takes good care of her house, her home, her finances. She looks good. She always looks like she's going somewhere. She has a lot to invest. Somebody here may have like a half sleeve or have some tattoos on their arms is what I'm seeing. Could be you, could be them. And again, it is not going to be for all of you. All right, let's see. Scorpios, what else do we need to know? Ooh, this person loves you or there's potential for a lot of love in this connection. Mm, I think your person's being really hard on themselves. Maybe they did or said something or they think they did or said something that made you pull away from them or maybe made you made them feel like, you know, you're not as into them as they are into you. Um, but they are coming in with an energy of accountability here if that is the case. And loneliness. This person's lonely without you. All right. And there is some pride and ego here at play for sure, um, which is, you know, you know, all of us, our ego does kind of, you know, play tricks on us at times telling us, you know, if we reach out or we express our, our feelings, you know, we might get rejected, but they're going to do it. They're going to step up. They're going to work through this because they, they definitely don't want to sleep on this opportunity with you. Anything else we need to know? Yeah, golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Okay, so maybe some of you felt, I I'm not getting that from this person at all, to be honest. I mean, I do feel like they're they're worried that maybe they've come off that way. Um, and again, I do see that there's past baggage showing up here. And we see the snake following that boat. So I do feel there's like a, a, a karmic situation that's either kind of dogging you or dogging your person that does need to be let go of. I'm kind of getting that's a, a third party energy there. Um this person, they, they want a new phase with you. They want, they want to transform this connection. They want to take this connection to the next level or rekindle. And yeah, they've needed and they've taken their time. All right. They've needed and taken their time. At the bottom of the deck, we have this, they've had a block or a restraint. So I do feel it's that, you know, that ego energy holding them back, fears of rejection. But somebody here, there's an ex that has done some, done some damage is what I'm getting. And that needs to be let go of. So it's either your energy or theirs. But it feels like it certainly can. Because like I said, this person doesn't want to sleep on this connection with you. All right. Let's see. Final advice, guidance for my Scorpios, please. Okay. Deal with the unexpected treat the unforeseen as a divine offering. Yeah. So this person, I think they're, I think they're going to, they're going to surprise you. I think it's going to be kind of unexpected how this person really feels and actually how emotional they really truly are about you and make a change, welcome change into your life. So big shifts, big changes coming into your love life. If you want to accept this person's offer here, Scorpio. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.